In this screencast, we will be looking at setting up a project on Project Libre. First of all, we will create a new project and give the project a name. We will create a base calendar. We will create the tasks, set the task type and sequence the tasks. Create a resource table and assign the resources to the tasks. Add a resource rate change to a specific resource. Insert the cost column in the table. Insert the total and free float columns in the table. Set your total slack on the Gantt. Save the project as a baseline. And then we will be looking at some ways of printing the Gantt. Now let's start off and open Project Libre. So when we open Project Libre, first of all we will see that we can create the project. So let's click on Create a Project. Let's give the project a name and call it Learn Project Scheduling. Learn Project Scheduling. The manager, let's call it P. Rademeyer. The start date of the project, let's keep it on the 3rd of August and it's going to be forward scheduling. Let's click OK and maximize the screen. So what do we have here? We've got our main menus at the top, our file menu, task menu, resource menu and the view menu. Then we've got our column area and we've got our Gantt area. So let's start off, we go to file menu. The file menu relates to the aspects of the entire project. So let's create our base calendar first. We go to calendar. Let's say new calendar. Let's give it a name, public holidays. Public holidays. Let's say, okay, so we're creating a calendar that's got non-working days in it. So say on the 9th of August, we've got a non-working day. And on the 25th of September, we've got a non-working day. And we can save that. Okay, so now we've created the base calendar. Let's set the base calendar for the project. We still remain in our file menu. Go to information, base calendar, Currently it's set at the standard base calendar. Let's change that to public holidays and close. So now we've set the base calendar for the project. Let's continue to create tasks. First of all, I'm going to start off by inputting the project name, which we said is learn project scheduling. So that's our project name. We're going to start off with a milestone. Let's say start project. That is our milestone. And to show a milestone on your Gantt, we're going to make the duration zero. So there's our milestone. We can indent that. We go to task, indent. So we've got our milestone. Then we can say task A, one of our main tasks with some subs tasks. Task A1 and Task A2. Let's indent that. So we've got a main task of Task A1 and two subtasks underneath it, Task A1 and A2. The next important step is to ensure that your task type is set correct. So let's click on the task. Go to Information, Advance, and then we're going to select our task type for the purpose of this project as a fixed duration, effort driven off, meaning that the duration for the specific task is going to stay fixed irrespective of how we change the resources. 
So let's just change the task type. Information. Fixed duration. Effort driven off. Task type. Fixed duration. Effort driven off. And let's just do the same. Fixed duration. Effort driven off. Fixed duration, effort driven off. Now let's create some more tasks. I'm just going to copy task A, control copy, control V. We call that task, let's make a task B. B1, B2, and we can indent that. Let's create another task, task C. It's outdented. And our finished project milestone. Finished project milestone, duration zero. So there we've created the tasks. The next step is to include the duration. So for task A1, let's say there's a duration of 10 days. A2, duration of 10 days. B1, we've got a duration of 15 days. B2, duration of 10 days. And task C, we've got a duration of 20 days. So now we've included the duration for each of the tasks. Now we need to create our relationships. Task A1, We'll start in the beginning of the project, so we link that with our start milestone. The same with B1, starts off in the beginning of the project, and the same with task C. So task C, B1, and A1 starts in the beginning of the project. Now task A2 is related to A1. It's got a finish to start relationship as soon as task a1 is completed task a2 will start however we're going to create a lag for task a2 so let's click on that link let's double click we're going to add a lag of five days say okay what happens here is Task A2 will only start five days after A1 is completed. So we've created a lag there. We've got to finish to start the relationship between B1 and B2. So we link the two tasks together. And let's say B1, we will create a lead, meaning that B1 will start five days before A1, B1 is completed. So B2 will start five days before B1 is completed. So let's just double click on the relationship. We're going to add a lead. Minus five days. Let's say OK. So here we can see B1. B2 starts five days before B1 is completed. And now we just need to finish off our relationships with our finished project milestone. So we're going to link task C to the finished project, task B2, so we can just drag and drop, just try again, alright so now we've linked all our tasks, if we look at the column we also got a predecessor column, that actually shows us which tasks is connected or related to which tasks. Let's just close that column. Now our next step is to create a resource table. Let's go to our resource menu. Resources. And we add our resources. Let's say our first resource is Sam. Type is a work. Our standard rate for SAM is 200 Rand. 
and we set our base calendar with the public holiday. So Sam will not work on the days identified as non-working days in the public holiday um, base calendar. Let's create another resource, John. Work type. Standard rate is 300 rand an hour. Set our base calendar. Pub public holiday is our base calendar. Then we've got Mike. So work type. 400 rand an hour. Base calendar is public holiday calendar. And then lastly, let's create a material resource. We're going to call it a bag of cement. Bags of cement. It's material. And we give it a cost, standard rate, 200 Rand per bag. Right, so now we've created our resource table. We're also going to add one of the resources. Let's go to Sam. Sam, we're going to create a rate change for Sam. So let's go into info, um, resource information cost and we can we can stipulate that sam standard rate is going to change let's say from the 14th of august sam got an increase and his new rate and the new rate is 250 rand per hour all right let's go back to our task click on can't and now we're going to add our resources. Task A1. Assign a resource. And let's ass assign Sam to task A1. So we can see Sam was assigned to task A1. A2. Assign a resource. We're going to assign John. And we've got John assigned to task A2. Task B1. Let's assign John to task B1 as well. John has been assigned to task B1. Task B2. We're going to assign Sam to B2 as well as we're going to add 10 bags of cement. So let's assign that. So we've got the 10 bags of cement, as well as Sam assigned to task B2. And then for task C, we're going to assign Mike. So Mike is assigned to task C. So now we've assigned all our resources. Now let's add some columns. Right click in the column area, insert column. Now let's insert our cost column. Right, so that's the cost of our project and the cost per task on the resources assigned. We can just zoom out to see our Gantt. Let's also insert our Slack, total Slack, insert column. We insert our total Slack. So now we can see where we've got Slack on our project. Total Slack and we can also insert our free Slack, insert column. Our free slack we can include that and we can also show our slack on the Gantt if we right click in the Gantt area 
go to bar style total slack and we can immediately see on which tasks we've got float and we can also see the critical task or the critical path of our project now let's save the project as a baseline we can go to the file menu save baseline save baseline one and the entire project and say OK. So now we've saved the project as a baseline. And lastly, to print the project, let's go to print preview. Go to our scale and reduce the, the scale width. And we can also fit it to a page. Let's say fit to one page. To fit the game to one page in some instances when it print it's not that readable and another way to also display your gant is maybe to paste it into word and to crop it so we can make a print screen let's make a print screen we go to microsoft word we can paste it So we've pasted it here and we can even crop it format crop So we can crop it. I hope you've enjoyed the screencast. And that is how to set up a project on Project Libre.